Your mum and dad, they fuck you up. They may not mean to, but they do. They pass on all the faults they had and add some extra just for you. But they were fucked up in their turn by fools and old-style hats and coats who half the time were stuffy stern and half at one another's throats. Man passes misery on to man. It deepens like a coastal shelf. Get out as early as you can and don't have any kids yourself. Yeah, well, from early, yes, from early years, maybe when I was uh, oh, seven or eight years old, I learned a poem, I have a little shadow, it fall, and I forget what it was. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, the little shell of sh shadow follows me around. And I, and I loved that little poem, and uh, that, 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 that's where it was, but I can't remember it all now. Well, I went to the doctor. I, I have uh, macular degeneration, and, and, but the, and the macular is the central nerve in your eye, so I have pretty good peripheral vision, but I have no central vision, so it makes it very difficult for me to read. Most of my attention was available for poetry after I retired. I had more time on my hands. I was very busy in business uh, before that. I was interested in the language. Like there are certain phrases in a poem, um, like in, in Kipling's um, The Ladies, which should be probably called I Learned About Women from Heritage. The phrase she says in, she knifed me one night cause I wished she were white and I learned about women from her. So a phrase, a phrase, is, a phrase in a poem uh, interests me and then I, I read that poem over until, I, I, and I do know and I could recite it now. Mimoka was our dog and they used to walk him every night uh, and twice a day, but at night I would r recite these poems to myself, and so I would get to know them when I was walking the dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I read it. All. I read it, you know, three or four times, depending on the length mm -hmm. of the poem, and like sometimes, sometimes poems roll on quite naturally to the end. But there's one poem um, by T.S. Eliot, who's considered maybe the greatest po poet of the 19th century, and it's called The Love Song of Alfred J. Prufrock. And it skips, look at it, it doesn't, it's, it's got wonderful phrases uh, on it, and one of them is, uh, Should I part my hair behind? Do I dare to eat a peach? I will wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. I have heard the mermaids singing each to each, but they do not sing for me. And with these thoughts, myself almost despising, haply I think on thee and bend my state, like unto the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth sings hymns at heaven's gate. Then thy sweet not love remembered such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings. <laughs>